In this video, I'm going to show you how to create a, um, a swipe effect, which is very common in apps like, uh, uh, let's say, um, Snapchat, where you swipe across and you get a different, you have the camera view to start out with and you swipe to see um, you know, your contacts or you swipe to see stories and things like that. Well, this is how that can be done. All right, so all I did here is create a single view um, application, a project, and nothing fancy here, just a regular single view application. I have my storyboard and I just drag a label onto it and I said swiper on there. I connected it using the uh, double circles here um, and, and then I created an outlet. I just called it swipe label, my outlet right there. So let me get out of split screen so we can just look. So everything else is done programmatically. And of course, I'll share all this code with you. Look in the description um, below the video. In the view did load, we have a couple functions here. Actually, let me get rid of this for the time being. Um, so we have, we set up these uh, UI swipe gesture recognizers, right? One called left swipe, and so one called left swipe and one called right swipe. Then we're going to use um, them to connect them to a direction. And um, these are built in. Once you have a UI swipe gesture recognizer, you'll notice if I was to kind of do this here, you do dot direction equals and you start doing this and you get your options. There's only four options and this one we're going to make left. So we do that right there. Um, and then we just add the gestures to the view, right? And you'll notice in here we reference a method, a function um, called handle swipes. And this handles our swiping right here. And so um, you can name this whatever you want. I just chose to name it this. And we take a look in here and we have a couple of if statements. If the sender direction is left, then we're going to, uh, we printed a screen, swipe left, and then we we can reposition things on the screen. This is nice little code here. You can use this outside of this project. Um, it's just good to know. Um, you can create a point. We're calling one called label point that's going to move our label. Um, and then we use CG point make. And we're going to look at our swipe labels um, X value, and we're going to minus 50 from it, just to show you that something shifted on the screen, right? Um, we're going to leave the Y value alone because we're not swiping up or down, it's left. And then we reposition our swipe frame, swipe label frame by recreating its uh, CG rec make uh, with the new label positions, right? So CG rec make, you have four, um, four parameters, the starting X coordinate, the starting Y coordinate, <coughs> and then the the width and the height. So that's what we have here. And then you do the same thing for the right, just opposite. Instead of subtracting 50, we're gonna, <coughs> gonna add 50. <coughs> All right, and so if we run this, we should get a little motion as we swipe. So here's the project with the, the text thing. If I click and drag, swipe, and you'll notice down here, it said swipe left, go back to the right, and keep going all day long. So if I wanted to add an up and a down swipe, I could just do the same thing. Just add this down swipe here, um, make a uh, make a down, <coughs> I'm sorry, make a down swipe right here, and then add it to the, the view and et cetera, et cetera. And we would just mess around with the Y axis instead of the X axis here. Does that make sense? This is pretty straightforward, pretty simple. Um, I hope uh, you like it. Let me know if you have any questions. Thank you.